sometimes I really if you think about it if in the premise of this situation yeah, if you really like really <laughs> sit there like, sit with how you're thinking about different things it really just tends to make sense in the and end and just like open your mind up <laughs> Open your mind up a little bit, you no. know, and like sometimes it can be confusing. No, and sometimes, and sometimes it can be great. Sometimes it can be great. Hello, beautiful people. It is Jada Joe. Today, I have a friend with me. I actually have friends, guys. A few of them. Do you want to say I am name? one of them. Hello, I am Allie Cole. I'm here to uh, record this video. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I thought that we'd reminisce on a little high school experience that we had together. There was one time, there was one time in high school that I broke a rule, and we're gonna tell you why yeah. we had to go to Saturday school. Uh, so we were in a church group, and the people that were like a year older than us, or like two years older than us, they constantly told us about how late at night on like the weekends, they would go to the roof of our high school and we were always like that sounds fun like do you guys ever get in trouble from it they're like oh never we've done it maybe like five yeah they act like it was times. just a normal thing yeah. like yeah they just climb the roof on the weekends yeah. and we're like okay like, okay yeah and i think we're having a sleepover yeah you know yeah looking for something fun to do yeah, yeah like, exactly what can we do right now and we didn't think we it was that rebellious yeah. because we thought it was just a normal thing especially, to go climb the roof of our high school exactly especially because like it was the older kids from our church that were telling us, yeah. like, yeah, Church do kids it. don't make mistakes, no, guys. No. If you're a church kid, you, you know, only do good things. You only do the good things. So, um, we were like, so this has to be a good thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, one night we were all having a sleepover, and we're like, we should try going to the to the roof of the school. No one was there, the parking mm -hmm. lot was completely empty. It's like a bridge outside of our high school that has like a back like staircase and so you can go out to like the patio that's out there and walk on the bridge but you can't get into the doors. The doors were all locked. But okay. the patio was still so open. Yes, 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 yes. So we were able to go up these back stairs, um, <laughs> go onto the patio um, <laughs> and and then by this time, this is when I was getting a little nervous. Um, I started to share my doubts with everybody. Everyone <laughs> put their hood up because they knew that there were security cameras. And at that point, I was like, okay, I think that we're doing something wrong if we're trying to, you know, hide it. You're the only one that didn't put a hood I up I didn't either. put a you hood like, up. I'm not doing like, this. If we're getting caught, that's not going to work. Your hoods are not going to work. Like, no. if we're getting caught, we're getting caught. Yeah. There are different levels of the roof. So it wasn't just like you climb up and you're on the roof. It was you climb up. <laughs> And then you climb up again, and then, and then, and then again, again, and again, and then have to use like a ladder at one point. And we had to find a way to get to the next level of the roof, and we had to put garbage cans on top of each other and try to haul each other over the roof to try yeah. to get to the next level. And again, this is when I was getting a little nervous because that was kind of dangerous, yeah, kind of was, like a little bit. No, definitely, because you had to you had to stack the two <laughs> trash cans on top of a like bench as well. So it was very it was a balancing game. And then even from there, you still had to like jump up and yeah. pull yourself up. So yeah. and all of you guys were very um, very fit. <laughs> you guys were, they were very very fit. They all had a lot of upper body strength. I was dangling there for probably two minutes. She, we were all <laughs> laughing so hard because she was kicking her legs everywhere trying, I was trying to get to, up. like scale. We're laughing so hard, and so they're having trouble pulling her up because they're laughing so hard, and she's not having it. She's being like, "Guys, I need help. <laughs> get me up. up. Get me up. This is funny." Say one. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, lean back. Lean back. <laughs> So we finally got all up to the next to the next area, you know, we made it up. We're already there, like there's no turning back now. Yeah. You know, I had my doubts, but I was like, okay, we're on the roof now, like yeah. we're gonna do this, we're here. Once we got to the other end, there was a, the largest part of the roof. And I think there was already a ladder sitting there for like- There like, must have been, because we didn't, we didn't carry a ladder. <laughs> yeah, so we, like, we just pulled, pulled it out of anywhere. Um, I think it was for like custodial people who had to like clean the roof. Yeah. And thank goodness it was there though, so we didn't have to but bring see, one. But see, at this point, like, like we said before, we thought that this was an innocent thing going to the roof, but at this point, you can't try to use that. You know what I mean? Like, no. if we got in trouble, we couldn't be like, no, we just thought that it was just like a normal thing that people do. You climbed up garbage cans, you yeah. found a ladder, like, you knew that this yeah. was not something that 
was supposed to be done because it wasn't easy. It's, no. Because they made, made it sound very easy, though. They were just like, you just, all they said is, yeah, you just go to the roof. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, and then we got there, and we're like, how do you get up like, to the roof? This is like mission impossible. But then there were people that we could see on the field, and people weren't allowed to be on the field, um, like, when there wasn't school, I guess. And so they started shining their flashlights at us and to be like, oh, hey. And so we started shining them back, like, flashing them. Um, and then right when they started shining their flashlights, a teacher comes out and um, tells them to get off the field. And right after that, we see them talk for a while, see them point up at us, and we all duck down. I, I think it was like the band teacher or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was the band teacher. Um, she walks over, goes over to our cars, and we're just like, oh, no, 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 no. She walks over, finds both of our cars, and we kind of knew that she was writing down the license yeah. plate. Like, we knew. She was trying to figure out who we were by the cars. There's nothing we could do at that point. Yeah. So we left, went back, you know, had our sleepover, whatever we did that night. Yeah. Went to class on Monday, a little nervous. Like, yeah, we were definitely. all, like, waiting to get called yeah. to wherever yeah. because we thought that she wrote down and she found us somehow. But nothing happened Monday, so we were no, like, yeah. we're in the clear. Like, we did it, we climbed the roof, and no, we're exactly. safe. We're like, oh yeah, nothing bad can happen to us, we're fine. Because we figured if it was going to happen, it was going to happen the first day back yeah. to school. After, after that after day. Week. Yeah, exactly. And uh, me and Jada had a class together, too, so we were just sitting there just like... The please, whole time, please please please, 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 please. Tuesday rolls around, second period, sitting together in theater, and um, one of the like security guards walks in, and he's like, Can I please have Alexander Cole for the office? We both, we both were like, no. <laughs> no, 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 I will no, never no. forget your face. You were just like, you got so My heart red. Sank. Guys, I don't get in trouble. I don't break rules. <laughs> I was so scared to get in trouble. Yeah. I don't get in trouble. That's the only time, I think, I mean, for me, that's the only time I've ever gotten in trouble yeah. like, from school. Tell them what you said <laughs> to the people <laughs> when they called you in and questioned you. So they questioned me, and I was just like, we just went to the first part of the roof, um, which was a lie. total lie. Um, and they were like, so what were you doing up there? And my first thought was Bible study. Lie! Bible study. We just wanted to, you know, get closer to God. Oh I don't know. Gosh. And um, they were like, if anything's okay. gonna get us out of this, it's the fact that we're, <laughs> just, the fact that we're <laughs> Christian. <laughs> Awful Christians, yeah. but we're yeah. lying to I can't them. believe I lied about Bible study. <laughs> what a terrible Christian I, I was. That was my instinct. I didn't even think Bible about study. it. I didn't even, I didn't have a second thought. Easy, Bible study. We just Checks felt out. like we were closest to God on the No, earth. exactly. No, yeah, no ceilings. <laughs> like, keeping <laughs> keeping our prayers inside is just very, like, Open. right there with him. Right yeah, there with exactly. him, so. But then she came back, and I think that he called me, at least. I got called in the next couple of periods yeah. to go down. When I sat down, he was like, You tell me why you're here. Like, he, he didn't <laughs> let, you know, he was just like, You yeah. tell me what you did. And so he wanted me to confess. And obviously, that plays with your head, because you don't know how much he knows. Yes. Type of thing. But when she got back, we talked about what she yeah, said. We all I don't I remember you telling me about the Bible study part because no, yeah. I think I would have been like, Are Yeah, you I don't think I decided to tell you guys that. Yeah, part. I don't think you told us that <laughs> because, yeah, we were all very, very involved in the church and I really used that as like, as like <laughs> a weapon. Yes, yeah, so, so I, weird. so I went and I confessed everything. Like, I was like, He already knows. I just assumed, you know, everyone else had already got called yeah. down. I told him everything. He called my mom. I was crying and he, she got me on the phone and the only thing she said was, Were there boys and were there drugs? That was her one question. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was like, not that I know of, we don't have any evidence of that. And she's yeah. like, okay, I will deal with it later. Oh my and hung God. up. And I was so, I was bawling my eyes out because if I'm in trouble by any authority, oh, like, yeah. I will just start crying. No, that's definitely. my, that's my, that's what my body does. No, I just yeah. start crying. I, remember, I don't need to be. I remember going into lunch and when I ran into all of you guys, every single one of our faces were red and puffy. Yep. We, we sat we were... on the bridge that day. <laughs> we didn't even sit at our table because no, we, we didn't so... want to tell anyone else in our mm -hmm. group about what happened no. and like we were all crying and stuff so we thought we were like smooth criminals about it and then we were like we are such idiots and idiots. we got caught for it idiots it was just like the yeah. dumbest thing to get caught for we <laughs> sat on the bridge that day and we were just like crying asking each other what everyone else said and like what our parents said and yeah. what we think that they're gonna do when we get home and all this stuff and a few of you said like your parents already told you your punishments and I didn't know what my parents yeah. were gonna say when I got home yeah but I got home that day and I was crying I was still crying when I got home my mom was sitting on the couch. I think that she was waiting for me because she knew I was going to be upset. And I got home and I sat down by her and I was tearing up. And she like looked at me and she said, 
Jada, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, I'm not mad at you. It's fine. You yeah. climbed the roof of your school. Like, we all do things yeah. like that. My parents weren't mad at me at all. After They're all probably, my friends told me that their parents were so mad, then I got home, my mom's like, you're fine. Like, you finally broke a rule. I was about to say, they're probably Look at excited. You. Yeah, they were like, oh my gosh, you did something. They literally were like excited for me that I broke the rule because I never broke rules. Like, like finally. You stepped out of yeah. your comfort zone. But I was still mad at myself. Like, I was still punishing myself, even though my parents didn't punish me. I was so angry at myself for letting myself. That's probably why they didn't trouble. punish you that much. So, like, we know you're going to be way harder exactly. on yourself than we could be on exactly. you. Exactly. I, I agree. So, that basically, was our punishment from they the told us all, they were like, we know that they're good girls. They go to church. So, it actually did work in our Yeah, it really did. We I think church. Bible study really did help. With I, the yeah, I think that it's all, all you. But they were yeah. like, we're not going to put this on your record because technically they could because it was trespassing. Yeah. But they threatened you know, a lot of things, though. They were like, we could suspend you. We could call the cops for trespassing, but we know you're good girls. See ya. You've never been in trouble yeah, before. We, all of us had a clean slate, yeah. so they're like, "All oh, you, you have to go to Saturday school." And we didn't even know really what that meant. Like, I didn't know yeah. what Saturday school actually looked like at that point. But they're like, next Saturday, you got to come. It's this many hours. You know, bring your work, whatever. They'll have some work for you to do. Yeah. And they're like, bring your homework, too. Like, bring, like, a snack. We all had to fill out a packet. It was, like, a 12-page packet filling out, like, what we did. Like, cross? Like, oh, really? Well, yeah. The first, like, section of it was, like, fill in the, like, blank of, like, what did you do wrong? Or, like, how could you fix that in the future? And then the end was, like, kids packet yeah, for exactly. us to do. And I have something to say about this because in the packet there was a word scramble part and mm -hmm. one of the words, I knew what word like all everyone else was going to put down for these word scrambles, right? Because it was kind of obvious. It was like discipline and like stuff like that that had to do with oh, working, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, words, about, words yeah. like that. And I, I don't remember what the exact word was that was scrambled, but I know that there was one word that did not fit with all the letters that were scrambled yeah. and everyone was turning in their packet but me being a perfectionist and being like no there's one letter missing i was like that word doesn't work <laughs> and everyone was turning in their packets and it was making me so angry because i was like there's not a word like there's something <laughs> wrong with this packet and i remember going up to the person you know the teacher that has yeah. to oversee it and being like this is wrong this packet is wrong and they didn't care like they didn't even look over those packets obviously yeah. so they were like they're like just go sit down yeah. fill it out like it doesn't matter but i was getting so angry finally i got myself to just put the word that everyone else was putting that i knew everyone else was putting we never did it again no. it worked we were tight with the security guards oh yeah they were just awesome like the security guards at our school are awesome they learn everyone's names they're friends with everyone and i remember them coming up to one of us or all of us and yeah. they were like we have security footage do you want to come see yeah and so they played back the footage of us climbing the roof for all of us <laughs> and we were all just laughing and you know we were still upset but it was yeah. just like a it was a good memory it of was, them yeah. like joking with us yeah. about it being like really guys don't do that yeah they're really they were really cool about it yeah fun time it was it was i'd say it I was a successful mission it. no yeah i don't regret I don't it regret i don't regret it. it at all it's a good I, story to tell yeah it's the only story i have as of now <laughs> so I'm, i need that story <laughs> the moral of the story is that Mm -hmm. That's what you I was know, thinking. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Is that sometimes... I really... It, it's, if you think about it, if in you, the premise of this situation... Yeah, if you really, like, really <laughs> sit there, like, sit with how you're thinking about different things, it really just tends to make sense in the and end. And just, like, open your mind up. <laughs> open your mind up a little bit, you no. know? And, like, sometimes it can be confusing. No, and sometimes, and sometimes it can be great. Sometimes it can be great, and sometimes, you know, if you really, if you really think about it, you, really, like you just really yeah, have, you have to, to think, you have concentrate to for a no, second, yeah. and like think about yourself, and like the world, and, and the people around and you, people around and how like your impact impacts <laughs> the rest of the people that get yeah, impacted like, by your impact. Like, like the trees. No, absolutely. <laughs> everything is a part of everything, in a way, if you really think about it. If you really think about it. <laughs> And so that's what I wanted to make this video about because I just wanted you guys all it's to really learn important. that. It's and really important. <laughs> to know that. It's really and important. I want to be part of that positive change, you know. <laughs> so I'm so I'm so thankful that you guys are here with us today. Thank you for listening to our, our testimony. Mm -hmm. Um dear God. <laughs> <laughs> now if you join us with a Bible study. <laughs> I want to close this out with a prayer. <laughs> dear God, thank you for keeping us safe that night on the roof. Um we promise, like it says in the Bible, you know, we respect authority. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Listen to our parents. And we're just so thankful to be on this journey with you. Yeah. And we, we just, 
we just thank you that those garbage cans were, st <laughs> were sturdy enough. <laughs> we're sturdy enough to get us up there. Yeah. We know you were looking out for yeah, us. Definitely. And that Bible study was still the best Bible study, the best Bible study. I've ever had to this day. Most, most exhilarating Bible study I've ever had. Mm -hmm. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me a soda. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We did good work. I think we did do good work. Like and subscribe for more.